Good morning. Good morning. You want some breakfast? I've got eggs. I got cereal. I wasn't sure what you'd want. You have coffee? I can do that. <laughs> Milk? Sugar? Oh, no. Black is fine. You sleep okay? Mm-hmm. Sorry, your room's such a mess. Thanks. I've been meaning to clear some of that stuff. Oh, it's fine. I really didn't tell you I was coming. Oh, I'm not complaining. Happy to have you. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. Ah. I did get. Strawberry's still your favorite. Frosting? No. Only kid in America doesn't like frosting. It's good without frosting. <laughs> you doing okay? Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. It's been a while since you were able to visit. And when you called last night and you said you were coming, I just wondered if anything was up. Mm hmm Nothing's up. It felt like coming out. Yeah, well, it's... It's good to have you. I can tell. You really went all in on these groceries. <laughs> well, I don't know what you eat anymore. You know, uh, Nicole came back from college a vegan. Who? Nicole, from next door. Nikki? Yeah, she's home for the summer. Nikki's in college. Yeah. How do you think I feel? Um, here. I can, I can help you with these. All right. Uh, you know, I was thinking, if you don't have anything else going on while you're here, might be nice to visit your mom. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Um, you know, where, where does this go? Uh, I'll take care of it. You sure? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm meeting some folks in town in a bit. Okay. Uh, what time you'll be back? Uh, probably not till tonight. Okay. All right, well, have fun. Excuse me, the uh, library's closing in. Jess? Hi, Miss Stewart. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? Doug didn't tell me you were coming home. Oh, he didn't know. It was sort of spur of the moment late last night. Oh. Do you want to check that out? No. no. Already read it. Just feeling nostalgic. Well, I'm sure your dad's glad for your company. You tell him hi for me, okay? Will do. Have a good night. You too. Jessica Whitman. Alana? Oh my god, oh, Alana! Hello! Hello. Oh. How are you doing? Oh, we had no idea you were still in town. Oh, please don't rub it in. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. How are you? Where, where'd you end up? Boston. No way. Yeah, I'm working in an archive up there. OK. It's really not that impressive. Still can't take a compliment, huh? What are you doing? Do you want to get a drink? 
club right now? Yeah, I saw McNair's is still open. If you're not doing anything. <laughs> I'm not doing anything, but that dive, ooh. Come on, it'll be fun. I don't know. Wow, I'm the one convincing you to have a good time. Stop. Oh, it seems like someone's lost their edge. You're buying. Okay. Off we go to McNair's. McNair's. I find the organizational aspects of it really satisfying, mm. but it's also just fascinating to see what people hang on to, like what they think is important. Okay, what is like the weirdest thing you've ever found? An envelope with razor blades. Wait, seriously? Why? I don't know. It was in a collection of private letters. What were the letters about? They were love letters. I know. Sounds like dark magic to me. No, that's just a normal marriage. Oh, cynical. Why wouldn't you be? So, what about you? I feel like it's been so long, I don't even know what to ask. Nothing exciting. Oh, come on. I can't believe you lead a boring life. <laughs> I'm still in town, so. Are you still doing music? Not really. I was giving voice lessons to some of the kids in town, but then that kind of ended, so. Mm, that's too bad. That sounds perfect for you. It was. Yeah, there's some good kids in town. But say lovey. No. Dare I ask? What? Love life. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? Um, what about you? Any boys? Jess, there are three guys in this town. They're all brothers. And I've already dated all of them. No, come on, it's not that bad here. <laughs> well, maybe you should have stayed, and I should have been the one with the scholarship. I'm sorry, that did, that came out really wrong. I've been thinking a lot about leaving town, and I just don't have the funds right so now. It's, it's okay. I know I got lucky. You worked really hard. Yeah, but... Yeah, after my mom died, I just got really focused on school and leaving and the you know, things I could control. Um, but I know I bailed. I know that wasn't an easy year for you either. You lost our house, but you lost your mom. It's not the same. No, but I, uh, I just got really caught up in everything with my family and I, um, I was a little dismissive. No. Thanks for saying that. I'm sorry. Sorry about your mom. She was sick all the time. You're so mad at her. Yeah, uh, I am. That's the thing about dying. No one gets to be mad at you. It's easier than dealing with your mistakes. Does your dad know? About the affair? No. I, I mean, I didn't tell him. I break his fucking heart. I'm sorry, that this got heavy. Hey, it's me. I should have reached out. You were a good friend to me. Some would say bad influence. No. No, you, you were the only place I didn't have to keep it together. Are you still practicing? Are you? Are you serious? Of course. Hey, wait, maybe? That's what's wrong. Oh, no. Are you about to tell me I don't have enough magic in my life? You're not happy. I know I haven't seen you in 10 years, but I can see that. God, you have always been so good at reading people. It's obnoxious. Oh, shut up. You're good at literally everything else. That's not true. Uh-huh. I'm a really bad swimmer. <gasps> oh, my God. Dude! Are you okay? It's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I I don't want to make a big deal about it, so let's just okay. Don't worry. About it. Um, here, let me get you another drink. No, let's not. Not here, at least.
Are we lost? We're getting close. Don't you remember the what? Nope. You're leading. Oh, God. You really got the cheap stuff. That is what they sell at the discount liquor store. Oh, you definitely know how to make a girl feel 16 again. That's the point. Do you still come up here? Sometimes. It's nice to get away. Away from what? I don't know, it was like 4,000 people. And sometimes it's nice to get away from those people. Fair point. Don't sip too slowly. It'll offend the spirits. Well, the spirits are offending my stomach lining. <laughs> How much further? We're almost there. God, I can't believe we used to hike this every day. I feel like this is the opposite of how it's supposed to feel. Like, aren't things supposed to feel smaller as you get older? Like, you're bigger, so by contrast, everything else just... The wind blew, the dust flew, and everything about them was strange. They walked the path that their feet had known when they both were young. Oh, God. <laughs> and the moon shone down, lighting up the ground. As the night air filled their lungs. Do you actually know where we're going, or are you just vamping? The widow's weeds led the witch's feet. Past brambles and black briar. And the starless sky sang a lullaby. And one called her a liar. She sang of warm beds, said to rest their heads and close their weary eyes. But they followed instead where the spirits led to the place where they had died. Is it bigger than you remembered? Can't even remember the last time I was here. September of senior year. Right before your mom died. You really don't cast anymore? No. Give me that. Hey, don't sit on our altar. I'm not a witch anymore. It's just a pile of rocks to me. How come you quit? I outgrew it. It's not something you outgrow, Jess. It's a part of you. Oh, that's not what I mean. You get older and your problems get bigger. And there's things magic can't fix. Or shouldn't. If you can't use it when it matters, then... It doesn't have to be so fraught. It can just be beautiful. Or fun. It was fun, wasn't it? Yes, it was fucking fun. It was incredible. We were incredible. I mean, the things we could do together, I, I can't do anything like that on my own. Stand up. I want to show you something. What? Come on, just stand up, turn around, do what I say. Take a look at where you are. Really look. I mean, can you honestly tell me that anything in your life makes you feel half as alive as you did when you were 16, standing right here? Reminder.
you are a witch, Jessica Whitman. You've just forgotten. Come on. Dream with me. It's gotta be better than that shitty tequila, right? Damn straight. Salud. Daughters of the witches you couldn't burn. Fuck you. Oh, come on. It isn't real. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's an illusion. And what's wrong with an illusion? Nothing, as long as you're being honest with yourself. Ugh, do you have any fun anymore? I do. I just. What? I guess I just don't see the point. Point? Just the point is possibility. This world might not be what you think it is. That you might not be the person you think you are. What if I'm a lost cause? No such thing. Unless you've already given up on yourself. She is. Morning. <laughs> Afternoon. Ha. Huh. Good night last night? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't think I'd be out that late. Oh, don't apologize. You're an adult. Mm. My body is reminding me. Well, you know, there's uh, ibuprofen if you want. Mm. I'll be fine. What? It's too much like self care? You know, I liked it better when you were less attentive. You might want to eat something, too. Don't worry. I plan on helping you out with that leftover pizza in the fridge. Well, I can make you something. No, oh, no. You're fine. Listen, um... I gotta go check on a buddy's car in a bit. But I thought maybe later we could go see your mom. I didn't know you were still working on cars. Yeah, you know, it's good to have a little extra cash around and keeps me busy. Uh, can we see how I'm feeling in a little bit? Yeah, of course. Cool. 
I'm gonna go take a bath. Do you need a plate for that? Yeah, I got it. Jesse, I'm heading out. Okay. You need me to pick you up anything? No, I'm fine. Okay. Well, let me know if you think of something. I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay. Uh, we got some of your mail. My dad just asked me to run it over. Thanks. It's Nicole. I uh, no, I, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being rude. No, no, it's, it's totally fine. You haven't seen me since I was, like, what, 10? So how are you? Good, good. I'm home from college. Yeah, you're what, a, a junior now? Senior. Well, wow. about to be. Well, I'm, I'm sure your parents are glad to have you home. Um, well, actually, it's, it's just my dad and I now. They separated. Sorry, I, I, I didn't know. No, it's okay. It was, like, a while ago. How's your brother? He's good. He's, he's in Boston. He's uh, doing the startup thing. Yeah? I should look him up. Oh, are you up there, too? Yeah, I sort of never left after school. Yeah. Well, well I'm... Thank you yeah, for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Take care. you here. It's better not to let the magic linger. Always so careful. Thorough. You have fun last night? Lana. What? Why am I here? What do you mean? I never come home. I can barely have a conversation with my dad on the phone, but two nights ago, I had the sudden urge to drive a hundred miles and sleep in my childhood bed. Myrtle. Keep a loved one close to you. Why did you bring me here? Because I need your help with something.
You want a water or anything? Sure. Your place is nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it turns out rent's not too bad when your uncle's the landlord. Oh, yeah. Some of my old students are having a fundraiser for their choir trip. Do you remember the one I went on in 10th grade? Mm. Thought it might be nice to help out. What are you gonna make? I was thinking a cake, like lemon with buttercream frosting. I don't know. Probably won't go. That cake sounds good, though. Mm. My mom used to make amazing lemon curd. Really? Yeah. She actually used to bake a lot when I was little. No, oh, I didn't know that. She quit when she got sick. Mm. Didn't stop her from cheating on my dad, though. I saw his daughter today. Who's? Mike's. The neighbor. The guy that... Oh, my God. Does she know? I think so. Mm. I don't know. She was dropping off mail. I wish my dad would sell that house. No, you don't. That's your childhood home. Where's your mom? Who knows? Florida? Wherever the hell her boyfriend is this week? Well, what's important is that we're both disappointed in our mothers. Mm. All right. Are you gonna tell me what we're doing? Right. Okay, so it's a shriving spell. No, oh, spooky. Stop. Alana, I don't know what that is. Right. Um, it's about guilt. So shriving like confession? Kind of. It's, uh... So my friend uh, lost her daughter. Oh. It was an accident. And she fell, hit her head. We took her to the hospital, but it was too late. God. Yeah, she was little. Like four. And of course her mom feels responsible. But it was an accident. I mean, there was a whole investigation with the county. They never pressed charges because there was no criminal negligence, but... She still feels guilty. She's wrecked. And you want to find a way to help her feel better. That's big magic, Alana. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I do. It's old, like Old Testament old. Have you ever heard of a sin eater? It's basically somebody that takes on the sins of other people and absolves them of the guilt. Well, what happens to the sin eater? They take the sin to the afterlife. Here. The invocation of Iska. Iska was a sin eater. One of the first. So by invoking her spirit, she absorbs the sins. It's obscure, but it's been done before. It's the only thing I can find that avoids us taking on the sin ourselves. Well, who was she? I mean, other than a sin eater. There's not much written about her other than the spell. The sin eaters were outcasts of their communities. People were afraid to even look at them. I mean, they believed a soul that carried that much evil could never find peace. Why would someone do that, sacrifice themselves like that? Well, most sin eaters are people who thought they were already condemned. They'd done something that they knew could never be absolved. So when things got tough, they didn't have much to lose. Making a little money, eating the sins of others. They thought they were beyond redemption. Is this her?
That's okay. the account it's in my pocket okay that's everything ashes to ashes That's awful. Here, I'll finish the rest. Are you sure? Yeah, give it to me. Okay. Whoa. That's done. What's next? Uh, the knife. You want me to do it? Dominant hand. chance to back out? Not backing out. supposed to happen? Let's keep going.
She had scars. What? Iska. On her back. From the ritual. One for every sin. How are you feeling? Good. Don't. What? Act like that went well. That spirit. God, she was so angry. Couldn't you feel it? Yeah, I could. It was dangerous. That much pain is dangerous. Hey. It's been a long night. Why don't I crack open a bottle of wine? Actual wine. No, well, I should get home. Okay. Jess, I know things got a little scary, but we're fine, right? And we did it. We did it. All right, I just need to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah. Good night. Night. Good morning. Morning. You doing okay? Yeah. Weird dreams. You know, you might want to take it easy with these late nights. Too many of them will wind up looking like me. Sorry I've been out so much while I've been here. Oh, it's okay. You got your life. Besides, I got to finish this bad boy by tonight. What's tonight? Book club. Book club? <laughs> You're in a book club? I started a book club. Wow. Is this like a way for you to meet women? No. In fact, it's a way to get together with the guys. Because, you know, I'm not working as much anymore. That's really nice, actually. Mm. You do know it would be OK, though, if it were a way for you to meet women. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Also, you will destroy your books, folding them like that. I'll keep that in mind, too. Well, you know, I kind of like it when the spine gets all worn in like that. That's character. It is possible to be too careful, Jesse. Well, I spent last night with Alana, so... Careful is sort of feeling like the thing to be this morning. Yeah, well, that's... That's different. I think it's good you're spending time with her. You know, people in this town have been so hard on her. She's a good kid. Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, Mallory Evans. I mean, didn't she tell you? Thanks, 
stranger. Welcome back. Hey, um, can I come in? Yeah, of course. I actually don't have a ton of time. I wound up deciding to go to that bake sale and I got started on my cake and then realized... I know. You know what? I know you were babysitting Mallory. That that spell wasn't for her mother. It was for you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, because he did a spell. So what, you came here to chastise me? No, I, I'm worried about you. There's nothing to worry about. Well, I am. Alana, talk to me. There's nothing to talk about. It was an accident, and I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life feeling guilty for something that isn't even my fault. I'm not saying Sorry, this. I really need to finish this. I just wanna understand. You wanna understand? You know how some people say they only looked away for a second? I didn't. I was right there. I just wasn't fast enough. She fell, she hit her head on that stupid coffee table, and that's it. But because it's me, people assume that I must not have been paying attention. I was probably stoned or on the phone with some guy. Do you think anybody would have thought that if it was you? I can't understand, Jess, because you get to have accidents. Good girls are allowed to make mistakes. Why didn't you tell me? Would you have helped? Mm-hmm. That's why. Now, you shouldn't have lied. Your intention is everything in magic. That spell worked. worked. And now it's over. Yeah, you seem like you feel a little better. Listen, I am sorry I lied. I'm sorry you're upset. Upset? Do you have any idea what could have happened? No, Glinda, why don't you tell me? Alana, I am not of trying to... Of course you are. You couldn't even empathize with your own mother. That is not fair. Do you ever think about how lonely she must have been? How scary it is to be told that you're going to die? Or was it just easier to be angry and righteous? Just stop it, Alana! A kid is dead. Yeah, it's painful. It should be. Things hurt. Life hurts. You can't just magic it away. Why? You were fine when it was for somebody else. We were wrong. I have a cake to finish.
No, I think you're right about that. But Alana. Hi, Linda. How's it going? Uh, but we're just getting set up. Did you come by to drop that off? Yeah, I thought I'd help the girls out. I remember when we went my year, it was a huge deal for me, and I definitely couldn't have afforded it without help. <sighs> Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Are you expecting more people? Do you need a hand? Uh, no, no, we're fine. Are you sure? I'd really, I don't mind. Alana, I think it's best if... This is a really sweet gesture, but some of the parents... Oh, nonsense. This is so beautiful, sweetheart. Thank you. Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. Of course, dear. I'm not choosing it. I'll be up there for Christmas. I, I know, I know, I know, I, I know what he did. I, okay, you, I, well, listen, I really, really don't want to get into this with you right now, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I love you. Okay. Talk soon. Bye. I'm sorry, I wasn't... No, it's, it's fine. I was being loud. I was being nosy. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, it's, it's just my mom. She's, like, pissed that I'm here. She always gets this way when I visit my dad. It's just uh, frustrating. I'm sorry. Oh, it, it's fine. I have something of your mom's. Well, at least I think it's your mom's. A bracelet. Found it in a drawer a few years ago, and it's definitely not my mom's. I didn't want to say anything to your dad, just in case. I don't think he knows. Is that why your folks got divorced? Because of my mom? I mean, it's probably more complicated than that, but... Yeah. Do you think they were in love? So what? Your mom and my dad. Do you think they were in love?
Lauren. You don't get to cry. How do you not know any of this? Yeah, he used to come over here, like, every day to keep her company. Didn't he have to work? No. No, he was laid off from his job. Around the same time she got her diagnosis. Yeah, he'd just come over here to make sure she wasn't lonely. And he'd stay, and they'd play chess, and... that's how it all started. <laughs> you know, he still has the chessboard. You know, it'd, it'd be kind of romantic if it weren't for all the collateral damage. Yeah. I get why your mom doesn't want you here. I get it, but... I mean, he's my dad. You aren't angry. I mean... I guess... I was so young when they got divorced. I didn't really know what was going on. When I got older, I did confront him about all of it, but... But what? He just seemed so incredibly sad. Sad he hurt my mom, sad he disappointed me, just... sad. I didn't really see a point in making him feel any worse. You know, people mess up all the time. And if you leave them behind after they do, then there's nothing left. Mom? Hi. Mom, 
and I miss you. And I love you. Are you okay? Mom? Mom, are you here? Thank you. Are you okay? 
Too warm. We have to get her out. I know. You're not gonna like how. Tighter. That's good. You ready? How do you feel? Okay. I had a dream about her last night. Luska? So many scars. You said she felt desperate. Desperate for what? I don't know. It feels like... like she can't pass on. Like she can't rest. Not with what she's carrying. And maybe there's something we can do. Is some way to help her cross over. I don't think that's what she wants. What does she want? Absolution. I'm really sorry, Jess. This is all my fault. It's all my fucking fault. You know, they used to think bloodletting could cure heart sickness, but I don't think anything can. Think you're probably going to feel bad for the rest of your life. Think you're always going to wonder if one little thing had been different, if she'd still be alive. You're going to feel bad because you're a good person, Alana. Even if you can't see it right now. You're a pretty good friend. Anyone ever tell you that? So are you. Lana? What? Lana? Oh, shit. 
What am I supposed to do without my best friend? I love you, Jesse. was done to you. And I'm sorry.
That it? That is it. Okay. Last chance to back out. I'm not backing out. You say that now. But I'm going to rearrange all your furniture. You sure you're gonna be okay to drive tonight? Why? You worried you're gonna get lost without me? I'm serious. I'll be fine. They're healing, okay. Just stop apologizing. It was my choice. And it wasn't just for you. That spell shouldn't exist. No one deserves what happened to her. Don't you worry you're gonna end up like her? As long as I pass the sins on before I die, there's no harm in carrying them for a while. I guess it's easier to believe someone will be there for you when you've stopped giving up on everyone. All right. The top lock sticks, so if it gives you any trouble, just give it a shove. I'll probably head out in a few hours. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. Jess, you're not gonna become like her. I won't let it happen. Oh, well, yeah. I'd haunt the shit out of you if you did. <laughs> Drive safe. See you tonight. This came out great. You don't eat it out of the jar. You're supposed to put it on something. This is how I like it. Well, I'm sorry my first attempt cost you a bowl. I don't care about bowls. Alana on her way? Yeah, she just dropped me off. I think it's good what you're doing. I think she could really use a friend right now. So could I. So, gonna hit the road? Yeah, but... I thought we could do something first. Mm -hmm. You think she likes this spot? Sorry, I'm being silly. No, I think she does. I am. Uh, this was on our porch. I think Mike's kid left it. I'd wondered if he still had it. I guess none of us want to do anything about it. Just two scared fools. I knew. Of course I knew. Oh, I'm sorry we didn't talk. I'm sorry too. Put it on. You sure you don't want to keep it? I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> Here, come on. Let me try. Looks good. Yeah. 